Hello, myself Dr. Nidhi Shukla from Department of Paramedical Sciences, Rama University, Kanpur. So, my topic is uh, therapeutic taping. So, what do you mean by therapeutic? The therapeutic means is the healing. Therapeutic means is the healing process. Why we are use the taping technique? That is healing. Okay, so uh, the taping technique is most probably used in the sports athletes for prevention of injury, for uh, repair the further of damage. So that's why using the taping. So it is a very popular uh, therapeutic technique that using in on the on field uh, to prevent the further injury for the athletes. Number of athletes uh, that is providing uh, for the support purpose, for the rehabilitative purpose, for the healing purpose. So uh, this is uh, technique is very trending. So, why using the therapeutic that is for the healing technique, the tape used for the healing, for the support, for prevent, prevention of the further injury. In the sports, the activity is very uh, enhancement and uh, very large activity. So, the uh, injury is very much more common. So, that's why Taping is a very lightweight supported, that's why using the tape because the braces is very high, uh, that very uh, heavy and uh, the athlete uh, will not carrying the uh, heavy braces and not comfortable for using the braces and uh, um, uh, enhancing the activity. So that's why they are using the tape. Tape is very light supportive and very much more effective technique and uh, that is very uh, cosmetic purpose that's why using the taping technique okay so firstly i am introducing the introduction of the taping technique so uh, while the taping the therapeutic for the healing purpose uh, using the tape for the athletes for the normal population for prevention of injury for supportive purpose for enhancement the activity of the sports activity for uh, prevention that's why using the taping tape is uh, another type of tape that's we are using uh, for the electrical purpose that's a different tape for the healing purpose of tape that is using the therapeutic tape okay so therapeutic tape is a different kind of tape that's we are using uh, like a micropore tape like a k tape kinesio tape that are rigid tape that athletic tape uh, number of tapes that's using for the athletic purpose for uh, for this the therapeutic purpose that's we are using okay so basic uh, term that we are using the tape for the therapeutic purpose for the preventive purpose now the role of tape what is the role of tape firstly allow the optimal healing that's why using the therapeutic so allow the optimal healing further healing uh, if uh, the athletic uh, is facing the number of injuries so uh, on the on field ground so we are using the tape for the optimal healing purpose second what is the role of taping for the protect further injury if uh, the pre previous injury will be occurred for the uh, in the athletes athletes so further injury will be prevented by the tape third uh, point of the role of taping that is the limit the unwanted movement unwanted movement uh, the athletic doing the vigorous activity uh, at the time that uh, then we are uh, then they are uh, using the sports uh, activity so uh, unwanted movement will be occurred in the shoulder in the uh, hip knee of course so if the unwanted movement will be occur so injury will be most uh, prone uh, for the athletes so tape what uh, they uh, what the tape was used the limit the unwanted movement that is prevent that uh, the in uh, decrease the movement for uh, unwanted movement that uh, like a scapula when the athlete is throwing activity doing the throwing activity so scapula is uh, further moving the unwanted and the bifurcate so that's why the using the tape that is limit the extended movement of the another joint next the role of taping is provide the support uh, which structure that is uh, when uh, those structure that is injured so uh, the tape is providing the support for uh, uh, for the uh, unwanted injury that will be occurred next the carryover effect what is the carryover effect if the tape was using um, at the time that uh, you are using the tape 
सो इफ द टेप इज रेन ऑफ ठीक है ओके सो कैरी ओवर इफेक्ट विल बी डन कैरी ओवर इफेक्ट मीन्स फर्दर इफेक्ट विल बी डन एंड द टेप इज आफ्टर द रिमूविंग द टेप द टेप इज वर्क आफ्टर दैट okay so this is the carry over effect the role of taping is the allow the optimal healing protect the further injury limit the unwanted movement provide the support and also the carry over effect next what is the uh, heading of the taping is the goal of taping why we are using the taping why we are what is the goal of the taping what is the therapeutic taping and number of uh, uh, healing process number of uh, uh, therapeutic purpose we are using the on field so what is the goal of the therapeutic taping is first is the prophylactic effect prophylactic is is using the unwanted movement for the prevention of injury that's where using the prophylactic effect provided if the if the injury will be occurred uh, further so not doing the further injury if in uh, if you are seeing that uh, athlete will uh, having the um, uh, more vigorous activity so the tape is removing the uh, uh, after the healing uh, injury injured purpose so that's why using a prophylactic effect the rehabilitative purpose what is the uh, next is goal of taping is the rehabilitative rehabilitative means after the injury will be occurred so other the therapeutic purpose that's we are using the rehabilitative effect means the uh, uh, means uh, you are terming is the healing purpose that's why using the rehabilitative purpose of the taping next is the functional a functional effect that is more over the uh, activity will be done of the joint of the ligament of the uh, structure that's why using the functional effect improving the function of the joint of the muscles so this is the three uh, goals of taping first is the prophylactic effect prophylactic effect is uh, using for the protection of the further injury of the joint and the ligament and the musculoskeletal uh, uh, effect rehabilitative for the healing purpose and for the treatment purpose that's where using the tape so that is the rehabilitative uh, goals of the taping and last is the functional improving the functions of the muscles of the ligament of the tendon at any of the musculoskeletal structures that's why using the functional effect goals of the taping next heading is the selection consider what tape and which time of tape that you are using for the sports uh, athletic uh, for the athletes so the selection consider uh, what type of uh, tape that you are used at the time that is the availability of the uh, authority uh, that's uh, that is a micro pore tape okay that is uh, the lightweight tape that is a rigid rigid tape and the kinesio tape number of tape that we are using so uh, selection consideration uh, like uh, uh, athletic having the acute injury okay and the chronic injury so at the time if you are if you are thinking that athlete will uh, for the ground activity so you are using the k tape okay and if you are thinking that the uh, grade 2 and grade 3 injury will be occur for the athlete so that uh, you are protection for the injury so you are using the rigid tape okay okay so that is the selection consideration what type of tape you are using for the athlete and what type of fit that is uh, uh, that you are want for the athletic purpose okay so that is the selection consideration next is the side effect okay uh, taping effect affection of very much more prone for the athlete for the normal population but the side effects if you are using the wrong type of tape and wrong type of uh, selection consideration and the unwanted stress of the joint so the side effect will be occurred so side effect is the laceration will be occur okay laceration blister formation will be occur if you are using the tape and uh, using the dryer okay so the blister will be occurred if you are uh, uh, using the tape in the uh, very allergic uh, condition of the skin so the blister laceration formation will be occurred in the uh, that is the side effect very sensitive skin that you are using the tape so uh, that is the uh, the tape uh, of using the acrylic glue okay so that is the skin friendly glue but uh, the more sensitive skin what form the side effect like a laceration reddish formation inflammatory formation uh, so you uh, remove uh, at the time you are you remove the tape or, or the same time okay so that's type of the side effect uh, will be occurred in the therapeutic taping uh, any type of tape uh, the side effect will be done okay so this is the side effect next 
टॉप नेक्स्ट हेडिंग इज द कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन नंबर ऑफ कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन एट द स्किन टाइप एट द स्पोर्ट्स यू आर नॉट यूजिंग द टेप नंबर ऑफ कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन फर्स्ट कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन इज इफ द एलर्जिक स्किन यू आर सींग द एलर्जिक स्किन यू आर सी द हाइपर सेंसिटिव स्किन यू आर नॉट यूजिंग द टेप एनी काइंड ऑफ टेप यू आर नॉट यूजिंग द टेप second if the laceration is laceration at the blister and the blister formation at the side of the skin you are not using the tape third contraindication if the burning sensation in the burning skin uh, at the side of the uh, skin so are not using the tape okay if the grade 3 injury will be occurred okay or the open wound will be occur you are not using the tape so number of contraindication uh, at the side you are not using the tape so this is the contraindication at the side you are not using the tape next is the types of tape uh, i am first uh, repeating of the top topic uh, i am using the number of terms that is number of taping the first is the micropore tape what is the micropore tape is the light weighted tape and the like a uh, paper tape okay so that is a micropore tape at the site you are not uh, having the tape so you are you are using the micropore tape uh, sudden supporting of the at, uh, at the structure of the uh, ligament or the uh, any of the musculoskeletal uh, structure okay second type of tape is the rigid tape rigid tape is uh, like a brown color of tape okay that is the rigid tape rigid means supporting the structure not uh, moving of the tape not movable tape so this is the uh, rigid is the supportive for the supportive purpose you are using the rigid tape okay uh, the rigid tape is not movable okay yeah, that is uh, providing the skin support uh, providing the structure support musculoskeletal uh, structure support that's that's why using the rigid tape next is the athletic tape athletic tape is also a white color of tape that is uh, the um, cloth tape okay uh, so why you are using the athletic tape is the secondary purpose uh, like you are no, uh, you having not a rigid tape so uh, second uh, is the second option is using the athletic tape okay uh, that is also a supporting the structure supportive of the structure and rigid the structure that is not moving uh, the uh, structure uh, at the side we are using the athletic tape and the last one is using the is uh, the types of tape is the k tape k tape okay k means kinesio 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 means uh, movable okay what uh, the structure if the movable that is the kinesio so the what is the kinesio tape is the movable tape okay so when uh, at the structure when you are applying the kinesio or k tape so that structure is also a uh, providing the movement at the site of the structure so number of uh, condition we are using the kinesio tape and different color of tape uh, uh, you, you are seeing the yellow you are seeing the brown color you are seeing the black pink number of colors that you are using the kinesio tape number of prospect you are using the kinesio tape and result is very much more effective okay so these are the number of tape that you are using number of uh, kind of the tape okay so this is the type of tape next heading is taping choice similar as the selection consideration and the taping choice same okay taping choice what type of injury will be occurred at the site uh, of the athlete or uh, uh, if you are seeing the fracture okay uh, that is a hairline fracture and the compressive fracture okay and the stress fracture what type of you are using the tape supportive the structure okay joint uh, dislocated subluxated what type of using the tape is the rigid tape rigid tape why rigid tape not movable not moving the structure okay that's why using the rigid tape and when that uh, k tape is used why k tape is used for the uh, inhibition and the activation of the joint inhibition and the activation using the movable type of tape okay 
movable type of tape so k tape is using for the movement purpose okay so uh, if the athletic having the grade 1 and grade 2 injury you are using the kinesio tape for providing the further movement and allow the optimal healing also uh, and for the protection of injury you are using the kinesio tape at the on field side and also the off field side okay so these are the taping choice now next one is a basic taping term the number of term that you are using like uh, when we are doing the movement okay so move the joints okay now the stretch the uh, muscles so number of terms we are using in the medical term so in the taping terms also we are using the number of terms first one is the anchor anchor what is the anchor end to end if you are using one of the tape so that's the end okay so that's end using the anchor is uh, that uh, terms is using the anchor is the side of uh, side of the tape sides of the tape both sides is using the anchor anchor is not stressed okay uh, you are using any type of tape anchor is not stressed next is the finishing or cover tape finishing or cover tape for the cosmetic purpose you are seeing the tape and uh, a beautiful kind of tape so the functional finishing or cover tape you are using the different types uh, of terminology of the taping last one you are finishing or cover up the proper tape or proper structure so that term he is using the finishing or cover up next terminology is the functional strips functional strips uh, you are using uh, like a one uh, like a structure tick okay uh, now using the side to side is anchor okay covering of the cover up functional strip number of side of the tape that you are using providing the support of the structure so that is known as the functional strips last next is the check rein check rein is also known as the x type of tape when you are using the x type overlapping of the tape or uh, crossing one of the tape to the another so that is known as the check rein next is the spiral spiral is a rounded type of tape okay when you are using the large uh, uh, when you are using tape in the larger structure so you are using the spiral type of tape covering all over the structure okay so that is the spiral now the spica spica means uh, that is covering the uh, upper structure and the lower structure so that is uh, using uh, term is the spiral uh, so, uh, uh, sorry spica next is the stirrup stirrup means what do you mean by stirrup that is using also the spica kind of the spica that is strips type of tape different type it means uh, that is the structure okay that is using the strip number of strips of tape that is used uh, for the covering also the larger structure that is the stirrup okay Le last is the reinforcement what do you mean by the reinforcement if you are thinking that the uh, tape is not proper alignment uh, using the proper alignment so you remove the tape and reinforce the tape applying the uh, applying the second uh, taping technique so that is uh, known as the reinforcement so these are the basic that you are using uh, for applying the tape that is the anchor end to end finishing or cover up functional strip check rein spiral spica stirrup and the reinforcement okay so this is the basic uh, taping terms now the next point is the taping guidelines uh, always when you are using uh, any kind of the therapeutic uh, purpose or the rehabilitative any of technique so you are using the guidelines of uh, any type of uh, therapeutic uh, guidelines you are using uh, following first one is the pre taping assessment what the pre taping assessment you check uh, any kind of contraindication that is not occur any kind of side effect is not occur and uh, skin is proper washed not uh, a wetty skin and what type of the uh, injury will be occurred at the site of the structure so proper assessment uh, of using the pre taping assessment okay now preparation preparation of the skin uh, uh, when you are applying the tape so prepare the skin okay removing the hairs 
proper and uh, the uh, 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 that skin is uh, dry okay then not kind of any laceration or blister formation will be occur at the site of the skin so you are prepare uh, for the skin stretch the structure uh, then you are applying the tape what do you mean by the positioning positioning is a stretch structure at the site when uh, uh, then when you are using the tape that site is stretched okay when you are using the uh, tape is the trapezius muscle so you are stress the trapezius muscle then applying the tape okay next is the application uh, what type of application you are doing that firstly you uh, uh, you making the anchor side to side cut of the tape then the application is uh, o to i o to i means o to i origin to insertion or insertion to origin what kind of application you are done origin to insertion 25 percent stretch the tape and applying the tape for the uh, preparation or enhancement the effect okay you are using the o to i okay now i to a means insertion to origin insertion to origin the muscle will be inserted at the side and to origin so insertion to origin you are applying the tape that is the 15 percent stretch for inhibition of the activation of the muscle so that type of application one of the example of the application of the tape post assessment after you are applying the tape and uh, you are seeing the good effect of the tape after the post assessment any kind of the inflammation itching will be not done if they are itching and any type of the inflammatory sign you are seeing so remove the tape at the side uh, remove the ray immediately at the side of the tape then the tape removal very important you are applying the tape and removing the uh, like a waxing of the tape no okay uh, normally uh, folding the tape uh, and removing the tape so these are the uh, simple the guidelines of the ta uh, taping when you are taping applying pre assess the tape prepares prepare for the skin uh, position application post assessment and tape removal so these are the taping guidelines of the you are following when you are applying the tape so this is the basic or introductory uh, uh, lecture of the therapeutic taping that is introduction what is the therapeutic taping which kind of tape you are used uh, what is the guideline what is the role of tape what is the goals of taping selection consideration side effect what is the contraindication of tape uh, which kind of tape you are using like a types of tape micropore rigid athletic uh, k tape okay taping choice which kind of uh, tape you are using when uh, you are seeing the kind of the injury basic taping term that is using for uh, when you are applying the tape anchor finishing cover up functional strip check rein spiral spike strap reinforcement and the taping guidelines very important pre taping assessment preparation uh, positioning application post assessment and the tape removal so i hope you uh, know very well of the therapeutic taping thank you so much